kids, welcome to the first guitar world reading by Uncle Fabian Dead. Oh, we got Joe Satriani on the cover. Look what I got. Look what just came in the mail. See, everyone just get one of these. What's the first thing you do when you get one of these? Oh, yeah. Woo. So, first thing I do is I get a cup of coffee. Get a cup of coffee. These are my prop coffee cups. All right, but here's the real coffee cup because I have to have a big coffee cup. So I'll put my coffee right here. On my site. We'll start this adventure. Ah, yes, Guitar World. Mm-hmm. Did you guys just did you get one of these? Just get one of these in the mail. Hi, oh, yeah, Guitar World. We got Joe Satriani on the cover. I'll, I'll put a picture up for you guys to see. So here's the cover, Joe Satriani. 1975, Robert Cray, Sex Pistols. My, I, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce some of these names, but yeah, 100 Things Every Guitar Player Should Know, Joe Satriani, Ray, uh, what is that? Raves up? Reggae? Oh, whatever. Jared Dines? Oh, snap! This must be... Ben was asking me if I got the magazine. I wonder if that's why. Oh, my God. YouTube has exploded. Because it's not only just, like, Rabia inside. Now we got Jared Dines. I just... I just came across that for the first time, actually, myself. Uh... I looked at the magazine cover and I cleaned it with alcohol, but this is the first time I actually looked at that and saw Jared Dines. Long live the king of YouTube guitar. It says, not me. I mean, not that I disagree, but that's the quote. Oh man, I can't wait to look inside. Let's, let's go inside. What a coincidence that my first episode of like Sunday Guitar Magazine or happens to have Jared Dines in it. Oh, look at this. Guitar candy. Guitar candy. It's like a tiger. See the tiger right here? Wow. Can I be the tiger? Yeah. Anyways. Pretty cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let me see what else. Oh, yeah. The first thing I like to do when I get these is take these out. These two little... I'm like, I'm already subscribed. You guys got me already. I don't need one until the end of the year. Yeah. I always like to give Ben, if you can get a free subscription, I throw one out to Ben, so I think I get one. Shout out to Ben. Alright, man, so who else is like, let's see what else is in here. Oh, you got the reader art. I said my reader art once, never got posted. But I see some cross-eyed cats in here, and like, and they post it. Alright, man, let me see. Whoa, whoa, is that what I just think I just saw? The Telecaster style guitar Dean was like a Floyd Rose. Well, everyone's just trying to copy Charvel. Charvel. It looks like a Charvel. Jackson. Let me see what else is in here. Mm, Torch. Eh. I don't know who that is. Ooh, I like this. Dampen them down and stomp on it. Oh, these are like switches. Things for your switches to like. Oh, cool, man. Check this out. I don't even know the picture will come out good, but yeah, there's a um, pretty good dampeners. They're like things for your knobs, I guess, to make it like so it doesn't go clack, clack. Oh, that's cool. Cause yeah, that's annoying too, man. That clicking noise. I did a video and it's all clang, 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 click, click, clang, clang. Let me see what else is in here. Power to the people. Who's this guy? Adam Hands. Don't know him. Hmm. For a suit. Ooh, a slash. Slash and a mirror, so there's two slashes. Very clever, Gibson. Very clever. That's the cat tearing some box up in the background. I don't know what she's doing. She's trying to rip the IKEA box. She's like, it's time for you to belt it. Robert Cray is in here. Robert Cray. Are you blues guys? Cool. Nice picture of Robert Cray. The QA. Let me see. I'll read you the. I forget what it's called, like, 
What amps and effects are you using these days, Robert Cray? And he answers, you know. So here's some of the questions they ask. I won't give you the answers because you got to buy the magazine to get the answers. But here's some of the questions. All right, man. Steven Tyler joined you in a vocal for Promise. You can't keep on the new album. How did you get him? How did he get involved? Steve Perry. Oh, Steve Perry. He's the guy from Journey, right? Or am I wrong? All right, what else are they giving him? One more. Um, if you could go back in time, what do you think you'd say to the early 80s version of yourself, Robert Cray? So those are some questions they're asking Robert Cray. He has a cool purple guitar, like Strat. Oh, man, beautiful neck. The wood on the headstock is... At first I thought it was the light from the tree. Beautiful headstock. Wow. Some ads from Greg. Oh, it's like a two-page uh, interview. Let's go. It's in here. Uh oh, Joe Satriani. I think he's yelling. At, I don't have to show you. I'll probably just show you like a picture of it. But he's yelling into his guitar. He's like, yo, give me back my hair. Oh, he looks cool, bald. I think he's one of the only guitarists that like pulls it off. Like, he looks good. Like, when he had his hair, it kind of he didn't look happy. Because it was kind of like, <laughs> speaking of his hair, look at his Jimi Hendrix and the Afros. The Afro Steens, uh, this guy. Jimi Hendrix and Noel Redding. They're, what are they selling here? Roto Sound. Oh, is that the sound set? The legendary strings? I'm an Ernie Ball man myself. Like Rolling Stones. Oh, the 100 things every guitar should know. I guess this is what everyone wants to know, right? You got Tom Morello here. I play guitar. Oh, I understand. I, I could see because you're holding one too, but yeah. If you weren't holding the guitar, that sure would be invaluable. So people would know you play guitar. Let me see. I'm going to give you like, I'm not going to give you the top ten because these are, or is it like, it's not even the top ten. Well, here's like, I'm going to give you like, number one, practice slowly. You got that? <laughs> so for some reason, I stared into the light. Like, that's the camera. Usually the light is where the camera is at, but the light's over here. Probably should have put the camera. Anyways, I stare right into the light. I'm blind. Also, they got like a timeline here of Joe Satriani and guitars. I like the chrome. You know, I, I never liked his guitars, like compared to the gem. But once they made it in like that chrome, they kind of kind of does something for me. I kind of like the, his chrome guitar. Looks cool. His, Signature model in chrome. Nice. So here's another. Uh, what about right here? They got Tom Morello screaming at you, pointing his finger, screaming. He says, You really mean it? You'll play if you have a cold or if you have an exam in the morning. You'll play no matter what because you have already committed to it. And, that com and that's the commitment that will yield better results. <laughs> that's ridiculous. If you have a cold or like an exam, what that sounds like a like a that sounds pretty stupid. Not stupid. That sounds ridiculous. It's like instead of going somewhere like if you have like blisters on your hands or like or if you have like you know like pneumonia, but he's like a cold and um <laughs> an exam in the morning. I got an exam in the morning. Oh no. <laughs> How about you play even though you have crushing depression? Huh? You'll play even though, like, everyone tells you that you suck. That's when you really care if you have an exam in the morning. All right, not to get on Tom Morello because he's awesome. I'm just saying that was pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. Who's this, Michael Myers on guitar or Jim Rue? They're all starting to look kind of the same. Oh, we got a mask on. Oh, they got Eddie Van Halen here, number 81. He's saying something. Eddie. Eddie. Stay out of the light, Eddie. How to overcome nerves in the studio. Oh, here it is. Finally, Jared Dine. Jared Dine's top 10 tips for beginners. Oh my God, we've done it, people. <laughs> They're like, you're not a YouTuber, Eddie. Yeah, I got 25 subscribers. He's got like a million something. We're in the same game, you know? We're in the same game. Hey, what's up, Dracula? Yeah, Jared Dines playing the acoustic here. Playing the Martin with a seems like it's a single cutaway. Acoustic. 
Uh, any info on it? I don't know. Let's see what else. Oh, here's more. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll show you the picture. But here he is, like Shazamco. A YouTube guitar hero says. You know, I actually don't watch his channel. I tried watching it, and um, I found myself like. I don't know. I guess I sh you had to be there from the beginning, kind of thing. I felt li like I was, like it felt like a bunch of like um at the time when I saw it, it felt like a lot of like um inside jokes that I wasn't getting. You know what I mean? Like Stevie T, he also seems like there's a lot of inside jokes that I don't get because like I wasn't there in the beginning. Uh, we got Robert DeLeo from Stone Temple Pilots in here. He also has a Martin. Must be nice to have a Martin now. I don't even have an acoustic. I have a 12 string with 6 strings on it. I don't have a 12. I've never had a, six, a steel string acoustic. i got to get one. I have one that's kind of like an uh, Art Deco one. That's kind of jazzy. I like, um, what is this? Adrian Smith's Jackson on page 84. Oh, yeah. Um, a white one. That's nice. I like Floyd Roses on straps, but I also like them to um, not be floating. They never make them flat because, like, say they, they have to carve it to the body. Do what you have to do, whatever you have to do, but just let us play like Floyd Roses without them being recessed or floating. We just want them to lie flat on the body. We could go and still dive bomb and stay in tune, you know? Oh, look here. Rabia. Oh my god, YouTube, man. It's all about YouTube. There's a new rock star. All these guys like, whoa, what's going on with it? And I can step over with my feet. It says sex pistols on the front, but I'm sure they're probably all the way at the back because they're in little print. Some lessons. I got rhythm, part four. Uh, a bunch of other stuff, blah, 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 blah. See what else. Oh, here we go. Finally, the good stuff. In the back, they got Anarchy in the UK. How to play Anarchy in the UK. You need a Les Paul, uh, MXR Phase 90. Oh, did you know Punk Rock needed a, a pedal? I didn't. I didn't know that Punk Rockers had pedals, but you never know. They live and learn, man. That's some Fender amp. Let me see what amp they recommend. Hmm. A Fender 72 Twin Reverb Combo with PS12 rebranding. But yeah. The Sex Pistols e Trebrian. Oh, it's French. I don't even know where that came from. Apparently I picked it up along the way. Alright kids, so pick up your magazine. Guitar World. You know? Read it. Read about Jared Dines. Oh, let's read a little bit about Jared Dines. What did it say? I'll read you like the, the tagline, whatever. That says, The king of guitar YouTube doesn't care if you don't like his channel. Whoa. Guess he's talking to me. I thought I don't like his channel. I was like, I don't know. It's, I feel dumb watching his channel. I was like, I don't know. He's a really good guitarist. And I'm like, it's like, I don't know. A decade after Jared Dine first joined the streaming platform, he's got gotten more than he ever could have expected. More. More than 2.7 million followers. More than half a billion total views. On stage guest spots with some modern rock band. Biggest bands. And a huge network of friends and collaborators. Yeah, sure, I'm his friend. I think, uh... Yeah, sure, I think I was his friend on Facebook for a while. <laughs> We used to be friends. I don't know what happened. We just grew apart. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm more into um, Philip McKnight. I like guys that build stuff and explain stuff. And um, and Jay Chess is Josh. I like his shows because he talks about He's obsessed with pedals and I love pedals. And he loves Boss. I love Boss. I like Lee Anderton and Rob Chapman as a duo. And, um, and, and the gang at Anderton's. I also like... Um, some other people with Desco I forgot I got this guitar. Some people Dave Simpson. I can't remember their names. I like the Tone King because he's a good guy. Um, you know, but Alright, well Jared Dine, he's in this magazine. Looking cool. Look at him. He went with acoustics. He didn't want you to think of him as some kind of like electric 
feel. All right, so Jared down here he is like a. I guess they made a signature guitar for him. A music man, signature model. Introduced in the winter 2020, man. I'll probably have to put a picture of it. Here's one real quick. Bam. Jared Dine. Yeah, I mean, he seems like a good guy. Shazam. Get it. Get it, my friend. Alright, well, enjoy your coffee. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Oh, you can learn how to play Toto. And bring BYOB from System of a Down. Alright, kids. Thanks for watching. Baby did out.